love that. Little round of applause for our Brazilian dancers. Amazing. We got the girls from Basilica and the dancers from here at Alma de Cuba. Indeed. And with them is is the queen of Basilica, mm -hmm. um, Simone Reeves. How are we? Very good. Excited. Excited. So Basilica's back, bigger and better, and a little bit different as well. Yes, a little bit different, so don't be looking for the stage, for instance, on uh, Williamson Square. It's this gone. time around it's gone. We want a truer feel to the carnival, like in Rio. So you're going to be up close and personal with bands and dances and all sorts in Church Street, as well as in the Casimir for more live entertainment. That will be Saturday the 18th during the day. So Saturday the 18th of July. Yes, yeah. parade, very important as well. Slice change on the route back to the old days in 2008, where we go through the Chinatown. Okay. And then the after party in the beautiful Baltic Quarter. So very excited, as well as bringing a huge famous singer from Brazil cool. called Marcos Valle. Who is Marcos going to be Valle. Yes, you can wow. Google him up. He's going to be performing at the Casimir, so we're very excited about that on the 24th of June. So it's leading up That's to That's one of the lead-up events, isn't it? Yes. And there are other fringe events in the Build Apartment. Much more films uh, and entertainment for kids, uh, workshops. So all you can find on our Facebook page or our website. And you teach Brazilian dancers as well. You've yes. got your own school. Yes, you can see the beautiful dancers here. They go through the samba class and then eventually when they got the spark, they start dancing for us. Um, and we do all the classes through the year in Liverpool, Mondays and Tuesdays. Okay, we'll tweet a little link to that now at the guide Bay TV and also get there if you want to win some free dance lessons. I'm going to apply for this because I think really I need them. I need them. I need yeah. them. So I'll tell us what you win. I'll judge you later. Yeah. You're going to win two people, um, pa a free pass for a Monday class. One hour long as well, you can stay after the, the class and practice your live dance moves to the Samba School. Wow. What an experience. It's amazing. That's so if great. you get on Twitter now at the Guide Bay TV, just retweet me and Ellie making holy shows of ourselves trying to <laughs> Brazilian dance uh, and you could be in with a chance. <laughs> Talking of making a holy show of ourselves, can, can we teach Ellie some moves? Because she's not the uh, best. I'm Brazilian not that bad. Dance. I'm pretty good. So okay, let's we, not fight our judges. Let's, I'll judge this. let's go. <laughs> You see okay, this. so let's start the easy way, pretending we can do it. Right leg okay. and bounce. 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 Use your arms. Oh my god, let's like moving on. Shaking really fast. Woo! So we're shaking the booty. Shake it. Shock. Gosh, we won't oh be Brazilian god. without the shaking. We can pull the muscles. She wins. <laughs> she wins. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Football Friday here at Bay TV. Just before we move on to looking backwards and forwards, one of the things that Stephen Gerrard has said this week, or urged, is that Raheem Sterling signs this contract. Now, worryingly for Liverpool fans, I was reading this week that he's put his house up for sale. Have you heard any rumours, David? <laughs> well, I believe he's put his house up for sale as well, but, I mean, that can mean a whole... No, it means he's leaving, David. That's what it means. It may mean that he wants to live in a flat now. He doesn't want to live in a house and uh, cut the grass and all the... It, that could mean anything, obviously. Mm. But um, the, the, the Sterling thing is a niggle with, um, you know, with, with the fans. Um, they're, they're not happy that he hasn't committed his future. And, and a young lad like Sterling, I suspect, shouldn't have had, you know, he shouldn't have had this cloud hanging over him for as long as he, he's done. He needs to just get on and start playing football. And his form was clearly affected. I mean, he should stay. I mean, Graham, if he moves elsewhere, I don't know, Man City, Real Madrid, he'll end up not playing. He'll be on the bench and, and that's going to hinder his development. Yeah, I think it? Stephen Gerrard mentioned that. Uh, he would play at Liverpool. But again, I would go back to the fact that how many games we've got left too. Yeah. I think after two games, he's going to sit down and, and sit down and, and discuss his future. Now, that is the time to discuss it. Obviously, stories in the newspaper about selling the house, he's a... Uh, making making things up, kind of thing. I'm not so sure, but no. Just it... making things up. Yeah, no, definitely. No, no, I've, no, I've, no. I've, I've encountered a few of them over the <laughs> no, years. No, yeah, no, yeah. no, 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 <laughs> no. No, but I just think Ian at the time, put it, to, leave it. It's near the end of the season. Get the two games out of the way, and then then discuss it. Then you've got a whole mm. summer to discuss it. It's not a, a long summer, you know. The players are at internationals as well, and and they haven't got a long break, and then they're back in. So for Liverpool, hopefully, we say. Uh, Settle by the time they come back for pre-season. They can't afford to lose him, really, can they, David? No, I don't think so. I think it sends out the wrong signal, doesn't it? If young players are not willing to commit to Liverpool, people who are coming in 
uh, have to sort of buy into the vision and, and they'll see that, well, obviously, uh, Sterling is a, uh, a, a recognised international player now and stuff. And, mm -hmm. and uh, if, if somebody like him was to go, then, and then clearly it sends out a little bit of a message. Mm -hmm. So, uh, no, he, he has to sign. And we, we've seen in, over the last week or so, um, I've been brought into this mm -hmm. conversation, you know, the fact that uh, he does things differently, obviously, with the guidance of his mum and dad, which is, uh, which is to, be to, re to be respected, I think. And, uh, and, he, and he seems to be a no-nonsense type of lad. And, and you know, the, the draw and comparisons with the, with, with the two, how, how do you go about mm -hmm. sort of doing things? And, and maybe Sting has been allowed, allowed himself to get a little bit distracted. So yeah, I've never been to a festival, but that for me, every time you see it on TV, it just looks phenomenal. I get so much support and it's it's a really respected musical yeah. festival. So I'd say that in our city, I've already performed at Liverpool Pride a couple of times. Fantastic. So that's a big one for me. I was, yeah. I was delighted to do that. Um, that's on again soon, isn't it? Liverpool Pride. It is, yeah. It's coming yeah. up this summer. Other than that, the um, the River Fest that was on this week looked fantastic. Yeah. So maybe next year I go for that one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Just selling myself here to the <laughs> festival. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, that, that's probably it. But yeah, I do, I do love music. And Doesn't it make you feel good? Yes, it does make you feel good. And there actually was a survey released, wasn't there, to say, Oxford have released a survey to say that music has a beneficial impact on our physical and our mental well-being. Would you ladies agree with that? You're both Definitely, yeah. a bit, so obviously a big yeah. festival fan. Is this when I sing? No, when you sing it has a negative effect. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the voice of an angel. We okay. pinch you want it back. <laughs> do we agree with that, Lee? Have you got anything in particular, Jackie, that you do when, when you're not feeling your best or when you want to be lifted a little bit. Have you got anything specifically music-wise yeah. that you go to? Definitely, you know, your choice of Spotify mm -hmm. playlists. You yeah. know, you have one for every mood, you yeah. know, depending on what's going on. But yeah, Spotify. And I think this city's got some great choirs as well in the yeah. city. Uh, there's one called Big Love Sister, another one called Raucous Caucus Recovery Chorus. And they're amazing. What? Raucous Caucus Recovery Chorus. Love that. That's and they're brilliant. a choir yeah. full of people recovering from drug and alcohol problems. Brilliant. And they perform all over the city. So amazing choirs that we've got and they're very uplifting to people's moods. Well that's great isn't it because to be involved in a choir you don't have to be a great singer do you because really? a lot of people love yeah you can join <laughs> you're in <laughs> a lot of people love to sing don't they and express themselves but they think oh I've not got a good voice but is that mm. something they can go along to and get involved in anyway? Yeah absolutely it's just about expression I think really the theme of what we've talked about today is all about being part of belonging and being in part of a choir is about belonging and, yeah. I, and I think uh, you know particularly for people that in early recovery belonging is, is something that they really want so yeah. to go to a choir this is great. This city was built on music though we had oh, the original yeah. boy bands after all didn't we? Then Fab Four and they could play those. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Hello and welcome to Arts Alive Art. Today's programme is all about Tom Dagnall. Tom's a sculptor. He tends to work on a grand scale and the chances are you may have seen some of his pieces in a number of public spaces, maybe Norton Priory in Runcorn or under the railway arches at Manchester University. This is Arte et Labore which is on the M65 outside Burnley and this is how it began. This is a maquette for a piece that, um, that I ended up carving for near the motorway, near the M65 in, uh, in Blackburn. And the idea about it was to to bring out the uh, the sort of regeneration aspect of the area because they they were putting the the motorway in and um, releasing the land for housing and also for uh, for industrial use and I thought about the sort of the idea of regeneration and then I found out that uh, the Blackburn with Darwin motto is arte et labore and it means to work hard with skill. And I thought to work hard with skill is a really good sort of uplifting um, uh, motto. And I thought I'd use their own motto. So I carved this guy who's leaning over the top of this block of, uh, of stone. And he's actually carving the, um, the Blackburn with Darwin motto, Arte et Labore, on the front of the stone. So he's working hard with skill to carve their motto, which says to work hard with skill. So it was a kind of a, a, a double take. And in the, in the final thing, there's a big pile of stone underneath as if the stone that's carved off, he's carved the stone off. Obviously I did, but you know, um, the, the block of stone um, 
was, was a massive block actually. It came out of a, a quarry near Horwich and it it weighed ninety two ton when it uh, when it was hauled over there. And I couldn't have I couldn't afford to shift it twice, so I shifted it to the spot, um, placed it there, then built some scaffolding around it and carved it on site. So the whole thing was carved where it now sits. <laughs> And we are here for Ladies Who Lunch, fashion shows, pop-up boutiques, and of course, lots of bubbly. Make sure you're following us on Twitter, at Style City Bay TV, to get involved in this week's competition, which we'll be telling you about later in the show. But for now though, let's find out what the event is all about. So we are at the beautiful West Tower Country House for Ladies Who Lunch, which has been organised by My Liverpool Life. And there are six designers exhibiting today, and I'm joined by one of them, Caroline Oates, and beautiful model Rachel. So Caroline, talk us through this. How do you make pieces like this? Where's your inspiration come from? For the them? inspiration for this is taken from the hippie era of the late 60s Love and that. 70s. <laughs> As you can see, the print is really like, you know, that Striking. type of caftan, yeah. hippie type of print. It is an original. Um, Kaftan print from the 70s actually that has probably been reworked but um, I've used it for this shape because it hangs really well and you know people when they're on holiday can wear it people can wear it to go out on night out yeah it has that multi-purpose doesn't it yeah it's very versatile and it's comfortable so it flatters the figure yeah. And a lot of people can wear it, you know, different shapes and sizes. Yeah, because it comes into the waist and all those things. You can it can shoot suit everyone in fact. And you do loads of pieces like this, don't you? You have like a full range, not yeah. just the caftans. Yeah, yeah. So and if people want to get hold of those, where can they get them from? Off my website, carolinoats.co.uk, carolinoats online. And you exhibit events like this all the time, don't you? I do a few, a few a year, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just so people can come and see them in person as well. Yeah, because I mainly do photo shoots as well. Yeah. Every season I do a photo shoot. Well, we saw some of those inside as well, scanning through them, absolutely gorgeous. And Rachel, what do you think of this look? I absolutely love this look. As Caroline said, it's not just beach wear, no. it's everyday wear you can wear anytime through the summer. Yeah. And it's really comfortable too. Yeah, and for on holiday as well, going day to night as well, it's something really easy you can throw on and then Definitely. Definitely. Love all that. Thank you so much for chatting to us. Oh, okay, thank you. You could try to be more right, and I could try to be more right. Just dip your feet in the water, baby. Don't know that I'll soon die. I'm feeling I'm so elusive. I can't get close to you.
Choose to let it go. Just take a walk on my.